So one of the updates I was really looking forward to was filtering. And it didn't disappoint, did it Keith? No, it's brilliant. Can you just tell me a bit about it and how it works? So, really simple. What it allows you to do is to say, in this video, just show me what X frequency is doing, or Y frequency or Z frequency, so that you can you can filter out frequencies that you don't want to see in the video. Okay, yeah. And that, I'm guessing on something like a fan, where you've got, say, a motor frequency, fans running at a different speed, if you just want to see the motion from the fan, we can isolate that, yeah. and that's using... Out, Playing the filters, is it? Yeah. yeah, so you take your spectrum normally, you can yeah. see then the, the, the frequency peaks, and then it's a really easy to use system where you can just put uh, your filters, band passes, band stop, high pass, low pass, yeah. and you put those around the peaks that you want to see or exclude, yeah. process the video again, yeah. and you've got another new video just how you wanted it. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Uh, I've used it so much and uh, one of the examples I remember was at the uh, where we had these shaker screens and they got some crack pipe work, yeah. crack duct work, and uh, we actually isolated one of the frequencies on this pipe and just looked at the motion and we could see that was the, the problem for everything else. It, it made it so yeah. simple and, and again showing it to the customer, very visual. Um, that was a really good one. You could see two different speeds of screens as well in there, yeah. shaker screens and you could filter out one so it stopped all together and then bring, filter out another one. You could see the, the effect that each one was having on the pipe work. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, you do some stuff on alternators with different modes of vibration and that? Yeah, so for, uh, for, like, for the likes of um, reciprocating machines, it's really good to see what the different frequencies are affecting. Um, you can see how uh, the firing frequencies on a recip, for example, or yeah. you can see the AV mounts, how they're working. Yeah. Really good for, for that. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Another benefit, isn't it, we've had with this uh, filtering is we know the camera has to be stable, but we can't guarantee that every time. So we've been on unstable floors. It's been absolutely brilliant for that. Yeah, it? that was a bit of a surprise, really, wasn't it? Yeah. So if it's at the uh, a, a different frequency to what we're looking at, we can filter out that vibration, can't we? Yeah, exactly. So if we're looking at uh, a machine that's, that's vibrating at, at a certain frequency, and we're at the one next to it, which runs at a different speed, yeah. we, and the floor vibrates, we yeah. can just move to that machine yeah. and film back at the one we want to see, and then we just filter out the frequency of our yeah. movement. So what would you do then in a situation where what you're looking at, the, the frequency is the same as what the floor's vibrating, how would you get around that though? So in that case, well you do get some floor vibration, and you can filter it, but then we've got a really nice bit of, in the software, we can stabilise it as well. Yeah, I've used that before. Yeah, so you just make sure that you get a shot with something in the background, you can stabilise too, and you can stabilise that. Yeah. No, uh, I think that's a good summary of the, uh, the filtering. Uh, we use it all the time. Um, and your, your insight into machines is just unbelievable. In the last year, I've been viewing machines now totally different to what I originally did. It's, uh, it really is uh, an awesome tool.